All right, so we got a lot of other news to get into here. Today's fast lane, obviously. Later on today, we have got seven matches. Very quickly, it's the women's title match: Nine Shayna versus Sasha and Bianca. So, so they've they've done for this match. The news story is is that um, both teams have are having trouble. Um, Great. Yeah. So Sa- Sasha um, did a heel a, a heel promo on uh, Talking Smack. So she's going in there as the heel i mean i i which which you know she's you know making sure that she's the heel um and making sure that that bianca's the baby face so i don't know you know how they're going to work it but Shayna baszler kicked nia Jax in the face and you know the idea was that she was aiming for sasha banks but she clearly wasn't aiming See, for did sasha they banks. really have sasha do a heel promo on talking smack yeah, it was a total heel promo. SmackDown literally the the match they do on SmackDown literally ends with Bianca and Sasha hugging and smiling and leaving arm in arm. That's right, and then she does a heel promo. <laughs> Whatever. Wait. The deal is is so so the story is that if you watch the match, um, you know Nia basically is there to destroy Sasha Banks, but Sasha Banks gets the fluke win at the end. That's that was the story, and. Um, the idea is is that Sasha is so deluded that she thinks that like she dominated Nia, Nia Jack. So that's the the idea that that you know she doesn't realize. And then Shayna and Bianca, I thought you know they were going to do something similar, but in fact they do a no contest in like one minute when Natalia and Tamina run in, which is absolutely not what I figured they were going to do in that match. We have Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan with Edge as a special guest enforcer because Edge beat uh, Jey Uso on SmackDown in the main event. So what do you think of that match? Dude, I don't know. I mean, I, I presume it's Roman Reigns and Edge at Mania, but I mean, everyone no, no, seems no, it to is, think it is, it, it that is, we could is. get a three-way, so who knows? Oh, no, no, no. Well, I mean, it's... Okay, we could. Anything's possible, but I, I did ask about that, and that was a no, you know, a week ago. Or not even a week ago, mid early midweek well to be fair dave we had an angle on smackdown and a different angle on talking smack which was the next day so i expected it to be a singles match but i put nothing past them i put nothing past anything i i'm i but you know i i just thought um i mean edge you know edge is a really good well he's always been edge is a really good worker and he's a really smart worker i i liked his match with jay uso but i wasn't blown away with it either it was just like he's i'm watching going like He's a really good pro wrestler. But you know what? Everybody, you know, I, not everybody, but almost everybody there is a really good pro wrestler. It's like, I, you know, like for the guy who's the baby face in the main event at WrestleMania, you want him to, like, stand out and be, like, head and shoulders, like, you know what I mean? And he wasn't that. He was a very good worker. His selling was good. He made the match good. The match with Jey Uso was a, uh, you know, an absolutely good match i don't think anybody would call it a great match and there's nothing bad to say about edge but when it was over you know and then you know roman reigns ends up whatever but when when it was over it was like it it you know and i guess you know they've got three weeks so i mean it's not like this was the go-home show but I wasn't like that excited about that match. I wasn't, you know, like oh, this whatever. I I thought Daniel Bryan did a much better job than Edge, but this was the show for Daniel Bryan to do a better job than Edge. And I thought Daniel Bryan was great on the show tonight. I mean, on on Friday night, uh, just, um, I mean, he sold me on Fastlane, which I had like literally just no interest in at all. But I thought that his promo, his promos were, his promo was. His promo was excellent. Roman Reigns' reaction to his promos were really good. Um, I, I liked, I mean, overall, I liked the SmackDown show as far as the, its building to the pay-per-view. I mean, like, the pay-per-view build up until Friday, I thought, was was weak. But Friday was a pretty good go-home show. We had Big E versus Apollo Crews for the Intercontinental title. Yeah, I mean, they did their their angle on, on TV and... Um, you know, uh, it was standard, I would say. I mean, the the Apollo Crews um, Nigerian accent takes me out of it because, like, if he had never been around, it'd be one thing, but he's been around for years and years and years, and now doing the Nigerian accent, it's just, um, he, he, comes, off, he comes off to me like a cartoon, not serious whatsoever. 
We have Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, which is now no holds barred. What was it? What was it on? Uh, what holds were barred on Raw? I don't remember was it, any. Wasn't Raw the same thing? I believe so. Yeah. Well, I guess maybe word got out about a last man standing, so they decided to just do no holds barred. I don't know. Whatever. Alexa Bliss, Randy Orton, intergender match. Yeah. The Fiend, I'm sure, returns here. I can't wait. Shinsuke Nakamura, Seth Rollins, singles match. Yeah, let's set up the um, Seth Rollins and Sarah match at WrestleMania. So Shinsuke Nakamura is just a stepping stone for that. But, you know, they did a standard thing. You know, it's like Seth Rollins is such a super talent. He really is. He is a, such a super talent. And, man... He gets the lamest shit. He's been he's been given the lamest shit for a long time. I mean, t- t- between the Bray Wyatt thing, which just freaking killed him as a babyface, and these heel savior things that just you know what I mean? They're just like not strong. It sucks. It, Let's yeah, not I mean, mince words here. This character sucks. The character and they had a perfect opportunity. Yep, to switch his character when he was gone, and and yep. Becky gave birth and became a father, and he comes back and he does the same dumb shit. Why? Well, his fault. It's the it's creative. This, I'm sure that Seth Rollins could put in a word. I mean, he could. It's and, not and like he, we're talking Ali here. Yeah, I mean he he could, but most of these guys won't rock the boat. I mean, he probably could rock the boat. Um, but you know, I'm, and probably should because the guy is so talented. He's good at everything there is, but you cannot overcome. You know, I mean, it's different. No, and, he's and all wasting that. prime years of his career doing this shitty gimmick. Yep, he's he's um he should be he should be like a real top tier superstar, not a, a mid card guy in a acting like he's in a high school play. And we got Riddle versus Mustafa Ali for the U.S. title, which... Why do I presume this will be on the pre-show? I don't know. Um, It, uh... You know, I mean, like, they have potential to have a hell of a match. So, we'll see if they do. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.